so Paris Shabli uh, is an intuitive and innovative app that uh, predicts the expiry of your fruits and it also helps you locate uh, nearby donation food donation centers. So we are the Omdena K-12 chapter with Coding and More. I'm the founder of Coding and More, an AI edtech for children in the K-12 space. We are very excited uh, to give them an opportunity to collaborate and use their learning for real life problems. And uh, in our team, I'm the chapter lead. Our uh, children uh, who have made this project are Pranit Hiranandani from India, Sai from the US, and our tech mentor was Abhishek Singh. Over to you, Pranit. Uh, yeah, so uh, first I'll be covering the problem that we have uh, uh, focused our solution on and uh, then I'll move on to the solution and uh, and lastly, the, our future plans for the app. So firstly, the problem. Uh, so our project, it focuses on solving uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 2 of uh, Zero Hunger. And in India, 23 million tons of food cereals, 12 million tons of fruits, and 21 million tons of vegetables are lost each year, with a total estimated value of 240 billion rupees. A recent estimate by the Ministry of Food Processing is that agricultural produce worth 580 billion rupees is wasted in India each year. Due to lack of knowing whether they can donate food and knowledge of donation centers, people end up throwing their leftover food. Our solution. Uh, so our solution is an AI-based app that predicts the expiry of fruits and uh, the user therefore can manage his or her food much better, uh, which reduces wastage and uh, throwing of food. And uh, the user also has an option to locate nearby food donation centers uh, where they can donate leftover food. Uh, so the data set, uh, so we uh, used two layers. Uh, so one, one layer was for classifying whether the food was uh, ripe, unripe or expired. And uh, then we use a rule-based classification layer in layer two, which classified the fruit. And uh, thus with rule-based uh, algorithm, we can uh, predict how many days the food will expire in, or uh, uh, it will ripen. In. And uh, for layer one, we had 600 images uh, and uh, they were collected from Google images. And for layer two, uh, which was of, of various different fruits, we had uh, 4,653 images. Uh, so uh, uh, we used a deep learning approach and we used a, a MobileNet V2 CNN algorithm. And I also experimented with the ResNet 50 algorithm. And uh, for layer one, the accuracy was 94.7% uh, with a loss of 0.16. And uh, for layer two, the accuracy was 89% with a loss of 0.28. And uh, we built the app using uh, Flutter, which is a multi-platform mobile app framework. So it makes it simpler to develop iOS and Android apps as it allows you to use only one code base. And uh, then we use TensorFlow Lite uh, for running the machine learning algorithm on mobile. And uh, Google Maps was used to locate the nearby food donation centers. Uh, so the user gets a prompt to click an image uh, and I selected it from the gallery and uh, it predicted that the banana selected was unripe and uh, also with the rule-based classification, uh, it, predict it said that it will ripen in uh, one to five days and uh, then uh, the user can consume it after that. And uh, the user can also locate a donation center through the app. Uh, so uh, this is a list of food donation centers in Mumbai. And uh, it suggests a few options uh, where they can uh, contact the food donation center uh, so that they can donate food. Uh, 
so our future plans uh, so we plan to further improve the accuracy of the model and uh, uh, we can improve the accuracy of the expiry prediction as well so currently we're using a rule based layer so we can transition from that to machine learning approach which will be more accurate and uh, we can make the app publicly available so that uh, more users can use the app on uh, the google play store and the app store as well and uh, we can also collaborate with food donation centers and organizations to build a perishable community thank you